hello guys welcome back to the second part of the get card to motion library and in this second part i'm going to be talking about the video to animation which is the motion capture aspect so that's what we're going to be doing in this tutorial video but before we continue don't forget to click on the subscribe button and also on the location bell to get more tutorial from timid creator so let's begin i'm going to be clicking on the video to animation and i'm going to click on select file so i'm going to scroll down and let me see the duration of this video okay four seconds so let's add this and let's wait for it to fetch video metadata so we have this video and i'm going to select add motion so you can see it's uploading so we're going to wait for this and then we have the processing video so uh 59 seconds so i'm going to skip this part so this is our result so let me just play this so if you have multiple clips you want to use in your animation you can upload them one by one so let me upload another clip so that it's going to combine the new clips with the previous clips and then we we'll export it into blender and we're going to retarget it so let me click on video to animation again so get cartoon is going to combine these new clips with these previous clips or previous clip sorry and uh, let me just let me see if it's this one four seconds eight so let me use this one and select open okay let's keep this okay streaming let me see if it's not going to take our time so this is the second clip and i'm going to select add motion so it's uploading so let me skip this part so this is the result from cartwheel so let me just play this and you can see this is the first animation and then it's going to combine it with the second animation or the second video reference so we have two video references in this animation so you can see that and we have about 291 frame for this so you can click on this video to animation select another file and cut will combine the number of clips you are uploading one by one together as a single animation and then you can take it into blender and target it on your character and that is all so um let me just click on download as usual you know the way and i'm going to click on fbx and i'm going to switch to blender uh the mesh you can take the mesh uh if you don't need the mesh you can take the bone alone so just click on download also you can upload your character on get card to you then rig it then but then uh it's not perfect for me so i'm just using this other way and this is the best method i can say you should use without facing so much um, stress so let me just keep this part of the preparing file to download and we move to blender so our file has um, downloaded so let's go to blender so please before proceeding here please just go and watch the first part of my get cat wheel um, tutorial talking about the this um get cat wheel because in that part i explained how you can change your characters and um, pose from a pose to t pose because every motion even from example the default pose is a pose um, t pose sorry so you need to change you need to make sure that the character you are targeting your animation to is on t pose and for you to do that you need the cat plugin and you also uh, okay yeah you need the cat plugin and that's all yes so this is the rest pose of this and this is the post position so you don't need to worry about the look in the post position but the rest pose is what matters the most so the next thing i'm going to do is to bring in the animation so i'm going to select import i'm going to select fbx and then i'm going to select this man dance and select import so we're going to scale it down to the size of our avatar or of our character sorry so you can see this is the t pose so i think this is too much let me just set it like this and scale it up a bit uh, so yeah this is okay you can make do with this so uh we are going to be using the rococo you can see we have rococo here so we are going to be using rococo to retarget so i'm going to select the source as my own as let me see if i can click on this drop down yes this amateur i'm going to select the target sorry the source is uh this character or and the material is the target yes if i'm right then build bone list 
then we're going to let me scroll down and select to target animation so we should have a good results anytime soon so let me just turn off this character all the year collection and let's focus on our main character and i'm going to play this animation you can see this so we have something like this you can see this so this is it this is it and bring it bring it move left move right move left move right so you can see this so but one thing i noticed about um um uh, this get cat wheel is this now as long as you set the rest pose properly the feet will glide but it doesn't uh it's not always moving below the grid like this uh, x axis line because there are some motion capture you will do but the leg is always below the your leg is always gliding or slipping below this exercise line so but this you can see that throughout the old dance move it is maintaining that similar um that same spot you can also try to like bring this down sometimes i try to bring this down you can bring this down but let's say we bring this down to this so i want to see how stable it is but then you might need to do some feet uh what do you call it feet clean up but if it clean up will not be as much as other motion capture software you can see it looks better than other motion capture software so this is just how you can transfer your motion or create a motion capture from get cat view to blender so just make sure you watch my previous tutorial on get cat view so that you can know how you can change your character pose from a pose to t pose and then continue here to transfer the animation to your character using rococo add-on so thank you for watching this tutorial from timidy creator don't forget to click on the subscribe button and also notification bell to get more tutorial from timidy creator